Hey together, Aaron the Black Dragon's back and welcome all of you to Monday Madness of Slay the Spire. I just took the tiny house. Reason for that, that's the thing that I wanted to have last time. So welcome back to Slay the Spire. So, from the tiny house we got gold. We got Snackle. Oh, I'll become confused, draw two cards. Think I'll pass. That doesn't sound too helpful. Because becoming confused? Nah. You know what, actually, let's take the snack oil. That may actually come in handy. Again, infinite blades. We could get another Bane card. Make a damage output a little bit higher, but I think I'm gonna skip on all of those cards. So thank you. We're gonna skip the cards and move on. And we are now to Act 2. Wonderful. Let's see. There we would have to fight against an elite guaranteed. There we could hit up one merchant, two merchant, two, three campfires, four campfires in total. I think we're gonna go this route. That sounds amazing. So you're, those things are a little bit of a pain. If, no, 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 not Kog and Dagger, if you are playing a poison deck because their artifacts negate negative status ailments. They have little, little defense only, uh, health only, but they will deal a lot of problems with that. So let's, let's just skip out on all of that. We won't get through the defense with our attack hurt solely. But with dealt poison... Let's see, we can play the Noxious Fumes, we can neutralize you, so you're dealing only 7 damage, we block 5 of that, would be only 2 damage we take that way. Let's take them. We also now deal poison damage, so we will get through his defenses rather fast, we don't need to concern ourselves with dealing damage normally. Let's see, Adrenaline, 2 energy, and drew cards, but we exhausted, yeah, well, whatever, let's do that. Not what I was hoping to get. Let's play that. Let's play all the defense cards we have. And I mean you're poisoned. Let's do that. Deal some damage. And at least try to get through your defense a little bit. But we won't be able to do so. But with the poison damage. Took again a little bit of damage there. I need my poison cards. Can I have my poison cards please? Come in handy. So freaking much right now. Ladies! Where's my bouncing flask when I need it? Well, whatever, next turn you're dead. Thank you, bouncing flask, that you show up now. That I don't need you anymore, die spirit guardian. That was a little bit annoying. Let's get gold. Poison stab. Six damage, four poison with that. Uh, dagger spray, dodge and row, four block and four block next turn. Um, yeah, why not? Let's take dodge roll. Let's see what we can get at our merchant. Hello there, buddy. You don't have anything that I'm interested in. There's deflect for a zero call stack. Perfect. Curse of dark shackles. And it reduces nine strength for the rest of its this turn. Now draw two cards. Place a card from your hand on top of a draw pile. Thinking ahead. Hmm. Regular enemy comments are no longer encountered in question mark rooms. Yes, please. That will come in handy. What is that? With gem potion. Nice. They look different. And the explosive potion. Okay, I'm not gonna buy any of those. Thanks for the thing. That may come in handy. May. Ah. Shell parasite. How I despise thee. Let's get some adrenaline in. Where are my freaking poison cards? I thought I had a poison deck. Where is it? Where's my poison? Let's also strike you. Let's gain the block that I need. You're not poisoned. Bane deals only 7 damage that way. Whatever, I can get through. Your block and destroy your plate armor that way a little bit. And I don't take damage. Which I appreciate quite a lot. I have my 4 block already. 
Take my pouncing flask. 16 damage. Uh, snack oil. Okay, that helped. Not at all. Let's play survive. Let's get. No, 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 no. I want to get a block out of the way. Well, it didn't even matter. So, I don't take any damage, which is good. You have that up again. Uh, let's play my noxious fumes. And then block all of the things that you may do to me, because now you have 11 damage from poison. The poison's gonna wear you down, and I'm just trying to block it. Uh, the confusion is not really doing me all that much good here. Let's do that. And that. Because that way I still can attack you. Even though it doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter. But you should be... Yeah, you're not done next turn. Well, hush my mouth. You are done. You're more than done. I poisoned you enough. I'm gone. Die. Exquisite. Gold, explosive potion and... Ah, Blade Dance is amazing for a ship tag, but we're not trying to do that right now. So thank the... Uh, hitting up that merchant won't really do us that much good. Two question mark. Maybe more helpful, because we can't really buy much with the amount of money we have. In an abandoned temple, you find a giant book open, riddled with cryptic writings. As you try to interpret the elaborate script, it begins to shift and morph into writing you are familiar with. Uh, should I or should I not? This can backfire. Um. No, this is... Either book I could get out of it, it will backfire for me. You exit, feeling a dark energy emanating from the book on the pedestal. We're gonna try this however whenever we have the next chance for it. For now, I don't want to risk it, because this can backfire. I don't want it to backfire. Hey, that's not good. Let's start with some adrenaline, and yes, bouncing flask, let's poison you up. Yes, a Sneko. Sneko ain't good. Sneko is bad. Let's get a dodge roll in. And... I mean, stab you once, and you know what, Bob, we're at it. Let's explode you. I need the damage in with it. Perplexing glare and we are confused yet again. Okay, this helped out. We can do that. We can even block. Let's neutralize you. And then shiv you. I still have energy left, so I come and stab you yet again. Snackles are hardcore. Uh, let's start with block. You only deal that much. I really want to play my noxious fumes. Problem is, if I do that, I won't be able to block the damage. And I don't want to take more damage than is necessary since you're already not at maximum health. So now, poison fumes. We are now vulnerable as well. Cloak and dagger, so that I can shift you. Uh, uh, I'm gonna take the damage this time to get this done with in the next turn. Six damage! It hurts, but it's better overall. It's better overall. I don't care, you're that! My poison dealt with you. Give me the gold. Oh, crippling cloud. Applies seven poison and two weak to all enemies. And it has exhaust. But yes, please. That's something I was waiting for. Crippling cloud is a good card. Let's rest on this side. And since we cannot encounter any enemies here. Let's see. You find yourself in... Old decorated chamber in the center of the room is a large skull. Uh, in the center of the room, a large skull sits atop. 
an ornate pedestal. As you approach, the skull bursts into flames and turns to face you. What is it you seek? What is it you offer? In sync with this, its final words, the door behind you slams shut. Get a potion. Seven health. Gain gold. Color the skull. I don't need either, so I'm just gonna leave and do seven health. Behind you, mortal. You peek behind the skull. Surely enough, there is a door. Goodbye. Thanks for just robbing me of seven health. So, I cannot upgrade any of my poison cards. So, let's upgrade dodge roll. Because the six blocks are totally worth it. Uh, I wanna hit up... This, then go that way. I wanna go that way. Still don't have too much gold to say that this is worth it, so let's try to hit as many question mark rooms as we can. It's Shuriken! I'm not an attacker, so that's not that helpful. Hi there! Am I happy to all enemies? Yes, please. It's totally worth it. And then deal... Double damage to you and then even neutralize you so you're down. You're not gonna boost yourself up anywhere. You're just gonna be down and take the damage. Suffer. I won't. Well, I will. I'm hexed now. And I got check out of that, so... That don't take any unnecessary damage, but I now have... Whatever, you are dead now. And you strengthen to yourself. That's annoying. Ooh, yeah, bouncing flask, adren adrenaline. Let's go. Yes, noxious fumes. The bouncing flask. Come on, one more. Damn it. And then the dodge roll. Even though I don't know why I just did it, because I don't have anything to block with it. I just wanted to have that one days more in my deck. And that was totally worth it. That's not worth it anymore. Well, take my days. I take 10 damage, please. Thank you for giving them to me. 24 damage, how about a little less? Then I can play my cloak and dagger. I'm gonna play a block card and I'm gonna stab you as much as I can. I even got the strength out of it. I hate you. I hate the chosen ones. It's a lot of damage. A lot. Cloak and dagger because I wanna stab you. Actually, it's not worth it. You're dead. Because my noxious fumes helped me. Yes, skill potion, give me that. Cloak and Dagger, Saga Punch, discard your hand, draw as many cards. Nah. Nah. Not gonna take any of those, but thanks for considering. Let's go to sleep yet again. I wanna have full health, because we have to tackle one more enemy here. Three more enemies. Bunch of cultists. Yes, please. The noxious fumes are gonna be hell helpful here. And then just stab you, and I'm good. They're gonna get stronger now. My power is unmatched! Let's go to you, for you. Then use adrenaline. Then dodge roll. Then use my bouncing flask. Deal a little bit more poison damage to everyone. Uh, let's do that. 11. Bane you. And what does skill do? Add a random skill to your hand. It costs zero. Yes, please. Uh, that's not helpful. Especially since that costs zero no matter what. I was hopeful to get something more helpful out of that, but nay. The game thought, nap is good. Maybe should have saved that card for later. 
Crippling Cloud! Make you weaker again. You're getting quite strong there. Cloak and Dagger. You guys deal quite the damage, so I'm gonna get rid of that. And... I block all the damage, so it's time to attack someone else. You're gonna die next turn anyway. So I don't need to concern myself about the 6 damage and you're gonna deal to me! And I take that and I tank that as well! Thank you. You can get stronger the more you want. I'm gonna make you weaker here. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and block all the damage there. And that's all I can do and next turn everyone's dead. Don't care. Don't care. Boom, and do I get anything interesting? The answer is no. Goodbye. It was painful to have to fight against you. My powers were much. Yes, they were. Dexterity, that's a good one to have. Distraction, dagger throw. Ah, where are my poison cards? I need a little bit more poison. Just a wee bit more poison. A merchant, do you have anything? Nothing of interest. Good. You know what? Let's get rid of some more strike cards. I don't need them. I don't need my strike cards. I want to have my poison cards at my hands as soon as possible. And what do I have here? Navigating and... Okay. Remove all my strikes and obtain 5 bite. Every bite. Okay, let's read that. Navigating an unlit street, you come across several hooded figures in the midst of some dark ritual. As you approach, they turn to you in, in eerie unison. The tallest among them bears fang teeth and extends a long, pale hand towards you. Join us, sister, and feel the warmth of the spire. We get bite, deal 7 damage and heal 2 HP, which might be okay. But I get 5 bite. For my poison deck that might not be that helpful. And we also lose 30% of our max HP, so I'm gonna decline, thankful. You step back and raise your weapon in defiance. The tall figure sighs. Very well. The entire group of hooded figures morphs into a thick black fog that flows away from you. You're alone once more. I'm however gonna do one thing in the future. I'm gonna make a very interesting run where I'm gonna accept each and everything they give to us. What was it? I got two shifts for that if I upgraded once. I think I wanna deal more damage with Bane. Since I'm a poisoner, I'm gonna deal as much damage with pain, uh, Bane as possible. I hate you! The Collector. Yes, please. Let's start with Adrenaline. Then get my Crippling Cloud out there. Deal damage to you as much as I can. And poke you. Do that. Cloak and Dagger to have another shift in my hand. And let's actually drink the Dexterity Potion because that will come in handy. I don't like you. I hate the Collector. He has his minions. They are annoying. Let's start with a dodge roll and my noxious fumes and bubble red it just just block as much as possible. We're just blocking here right now. My noxious fumes will help us. I was hoping to get another noxious fumes, but we didn't. Okay, we have that coming up for us. Bouncing flask, that will come in handy. Please? Let's poison a few, that's okay, and then use my cloak and daggers and stab one of those fools so that I get rid of one of them because I want to get rid of some of them, the poison will deal a great bit of damage to him later on. That's one thing I'm gonna try to get as much poison onto him as possible. Uh, that's good. Let's get another dodge roll in. Let's use Bane on you, fool. Then defend and use one strike on you. I am fine at the moment. Again, my poison deals quite the damage to the collector itself. 
Torch Chat. Ouch, and we're gonna get a lot of debuffs there. Okay, but not too much. I'm gonna get rid of your power here and do that. Okay, my noxious fumes should help me out here. Don't know what you're planning to do. Another minion, that's okay. I'm just gonna take your minions out as they come. Again, I have my poison to take you out. He's done. Let's make a dodge roll. And use my cloak and dagger. Use Bane on your foolish minion here. And I'm good. I don't take damage this turn again. I wanna get through Act 2 once. At least once. <sighs> come on. Bouncing Flask, you deal a crap ton of damage there. I really want to play my Bouncing Flask. Uh, however, I think it's in my biggest interest here to block as much damage as I can. I'm gonna still take a ton of damage here, but I think it's in my utmost interest to blo block the damage that was just coming in here. Good, I have my cloak and dagger, and I'm gonna neutralize you. Perfect, you're gonna die now, and then I'm just gonna strike. The collector itself, that went swimmingly! Collector should be done in a moment. 27 is not that bad. Especially you can neutralize that and make it even less. Get that, and that, and that. I don't take damage anymore. I won't get through it, but I won't have one of the shifts cluttering up my deck unnecessarily. I think we might get through this egg this time. Buddy, take the Bouncing Flask. It will help me. And then Bane. And Buddy, come at me if you survive. Oh damn, you're dead. Finally got through the second act again. Lots of money, and what cards do we get? Die, die, die. Okay, Grand Finale. It can only be played if there are no cards in your draw pile. Deal 40 damage to all enemies. And unload. Deal 12 damage. Discard all non-attack cards. Oh, crap. Those are great cards. Those are amazing cards, and I'm not interested in any of them. Not one. Totally honest. Grand Finale would be nice, but... <sighs> no, I... I hate myself for doing this right now. What's inside of boss chest? We have the Philosopher's Stone. Start with one energy. Then Orrery, choose and add five cards to your deck. Also interesting. And Pandora's Box, transform all your strikes and defense. Interesting. Pandora's box also I think got the rework a little bit because I think it was changing up all your cards and not just your strike and defense. I think we're gonna go with the Philosopher's Stone yet again even though it may come back to bite us in the ass. But we are now to Act 3! The Beyond. Finally made it here. But we're gonna see how the Beyond looks like next week on the next Monday Madness. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, how about leaving a comment down below. I really would appreciate that. I hope to see all of you in the next part. So, bye!